Greetings, all! Today, we will be examining the relatively common normal, dark, or steel type Pokemon Meowth, the Scratch Cat Pokemon, its relatively rare normal or dark type Evolution Persian, the Classic Cat Pokemon, and its uncommon alternate steel type Evolution Berserker, the Viking Pokemon. While they might not come off as the most dangerous of animals in the world, the members of the Meowth family are classic cats that can make good use of their natural instincts and behavior to make a name for themselves in battle. Normal Cantonian Meowth have beige fur with bits of dark brown hair on their legs and the tip of their tail, which is partially coiled. They have four limbs and three toes on each of their hands and feet, large black ears with brown interiors, a series of six whiskers on their face, four on each of the side of their face and two on their forehead, and are noted for their black slit-like eyes and the two sharp fangs that jut out from their upper jaw. Their most prominent and iconic mark of distinction is the gold coin charm on their head, which grants them unique powers not seen in other cat Pokemon. Their Alolan counterparts have a similar anatomical form, but their fur is a light purple-gray color with white fur on their tail end and feet, and the whiskers turn upwards compared to the straight whiskers seen on their Cantonian counterpart. Their Galarian counterpart follows the same anatomical trend, both extremely thick, shaggy brown hair and black feet and tail tip, their coin charm and claws even being a dark black color. Their whiskers are mostly hidden in the beard of hair that covers their face, but the two pointing upwards have black tips to them and curved inwards, making them look a bit like horns. In the Gigantamax state of the Cantonian variety, these creatures grow greatly in size and their forms stretch out immensely, quite literally, as the coin in their forehead grows in size and their torso extends into a long noodle-like form, lengthening their relative body length to an absurd degree. One of their evolved forms, Persian, specifically their Cantonian form, have beige fur covering their entire body, but otherwise retain a similar anatomical form as their pre-evolved form, though they can no longer walk on their hind legs and are completely quadrupedal. Their thin whiskers help to frame their fanged mouth and black nose and black-rimmed ears, with bright red eyes and a round red gem that has replaced the coin charm possessed by their pre-evolved form. Their Alolan counterpart have the same basic form, but their fur is the same purplish gray color as Alolan Meowth, the gem on their forehead is blue, and they have a much puffier, rounder face compared to Cantonian Persian. Their alternative evolution, Perserker, retained the dark brown body hair of Galarian Meowth, but the tail has turned completely brown, and they now have black patches of fur like wristbands around their wrists and ankles. Their whiskers have developed into actual silver-tipped horns that complement their silver coin charm, their upper head being entirely covered in black fur, while the lower face's beard has turned a silver color as well, their orange eyes standing out against their otherwise muted body palette and white, razor-sharp teeth. The members of the Meowth family, though seemingly just normal cats given their limited access to some moves outside of the basic type assignment, are fascinating creatures for the sheer diversity of forms they come in. Not only do Meowth and Persian both differ substantially from each other in terms of mannerisms and behavior, but Meowth in particular come in the form of three different regional variants that grant them unique moves, attributes, and even evolutions depending upon the region. Sadly, while Meowth are normally seen as basic cats and not always treated with much respect, Persian are adored by collectors and animal trainers across the world for the luxurious soft fur and elegant movements, and are believed to have been owned by every single ruler of Japan since the beginning of dynasty-based governments. They seem to carry an air of elegance and sophistication with them no matter where they may go, which puts them into direct conflict with the barbaric nature of the evolutionary counterpart, Perserker, and are often used by people to demonstrate both their wealth and their expertise in dominating others, as Persian are extremely difficult to take care of and will not obey the owner unless they feel that they are strong enough to handle them. What seems to excite many specialists of this family, however, are the strange adornments on the foreheads of these creatures, a coin charm on Meowth and Berserker, and a gem on Persian. These objects often lead to these cats being poached to sell them, and while there is some value in this, it is more useful for these creatures in battle, as it allows Persian in particular to utilize unique attacks that few other Pokemon can learn, such as gaining access to a power gem attack from their stone. Because of the complexities involved in their behavior and capabilities, it is best to cover each member of this extensive family one at a time. Meowth are almost always nocturnal, and rarely do anything other than sleep during the daytime. Once the sun sets though, they roam around endlessly in search of two main things, round objects and shiny objects. The brains of Meowth are hardwired to find round objects aesthetically pleasing, so they can't help but play with any round item they find, and often do so until they fall asleep from sheer exhaustion. The same goes for shiny objects, 
but there appears to be another factor in play when it comes to shiny coins, which Meowth love even more than food. The exact reasoning behind the psychological obsession with coins is still a relative mystery, but it undoubtedly has something to do with the coin-like charm that Meowth possess on their foreheads from birth, which is made from organically grown gold infused with electromagnetic energy. Whenever Meowth find coins that are still in relatively good condition, the charm in their eyes actually glow a little, reflecting a rare case of psychologically triggered bioluminescence. Not surprisingly, Meowth are well known for thievery and are actually the source behind the term Cat Burglar, only finding competition among the likes of Murkrow. By carefully retracting their claws into their paws, Meowth can effectively move without making a single noise, allowing them to creep into even the most heavily guarded of places without ever being detected. Even motion sensing devices are of little use, as Meowth are exceptionally quick on their feet and difficult to catch by hand. The only things that can easily distract a Meowth long enough to ensure a safe capture are fish and catnip, both weaknesses they share in common with other small felines. Coins can be equally as effective and can be a good way of starting a fast friendship with them, but their fickle nature means that such relationships cannot be expected to last very long. In addition, and speaking on coins, it is worth noting that Meowth have access to a highly unique attack known as the Payday Attack that can allow them to use the coin charm on their forehead to generate money by opening dimensional portals, dumping a load of coins on an opponent in order to deal damage. It might not be very powerful or well understood, but given that the attack can generate money for a trainer at the end of every battle when it's used, it can definitely be a useful attack to have access to if money is tight. This further ties in with their possible abilities, as these cats can have access to pick up and technician as base abilities, while their catty behavior and might can also allow them to have access to unnerve as a hidden ability. As noted before, Meowth are one of the few species of Pokemon known to have a unique variant within the confines of not just the Alola region, but also the Galar region, each having its own unique attributes and type assignment. In the Alola region, these creatures are dark types, can have the rattled ability as a hidden ability in place of unnerve, gain access to the night slash attack in place of the slash attack, and possess a slightly decreased base attack stat and a slightly increased base special attack stat. Meowth were not originally native to the Alola region, and in older times were given to the royalty of the Alola region as pets, with only a select few members of the royal family and staff being able to obtain one of these felines. Because of their constant pampering by the royal family, the demeanor of these creatures changed as they became incredibly impulsive, selfish, prideful, fickle, and picky towards their food, and in turn, altered in appearance and typing to reflect this. Unfortunately, in time, the monarchy of the region was destroyed to usher in the modern era, and their family pets were let loose into the wild to become feral, reproducing into the solid population now observed in the region. Congregating around urban areas, these creatures are temperamental about the ego, and they despise crime and anything that hurts their sense of pride. If this occurs, or if their coin charm gets dirty, these felines will fall into an explosive hysterical rage and will slice apart the cause of the episode with ferocity, using their cunning to relentlessly target their opponent's weak points. This can make them hard to handle, and renders them highly popular only among those that can willingly give them the attention they need, but trainers that are looking to make something out of their evolved form will have to work with them anyways, as Lola and Meowth will only evolve when they normally feel a strong sense of friendship between themselves and their trainer. In the Gowler region, on the other hand, these creatures are steel types, can have the Tough Claws ability as a base ability in place of Technician, gain access to the Home Claws, Metal Claws, Swagger, Metal Sounder, and Thrash moves in place of the Faint, Bite, Assurance, Nasty Plot, and Play Rough moves, and possess an astronomically decreased base speed stat in exchange for a slightly increased base HP stat and moderately increased base attack and defense stats. Galarian Meowth possess radically different forms compared to their normal and Alolan counterparts, as a result of them being brought into the region through seafaring people, who they lived amongst for many centuries. This has forced these creatures to toughen up both mentally and physically to the point where parts of their bodies have begun to develop a long, thick, hairy iron coating in order to aid them in defending themselves against direct attack. This has resulted in them losing most of the agility that the species is otherwise known for, but this has done little to deter them, as their mentality has developed into something quite wild and very difficult to tame under normal circumstances. The coins on their forehead have grown dark from constant exposure to seawater, and the darker the coin is, the harder it tends to be, and the more respect the owner garners from its peers. This type of Meowth is different enough from its other contemporaries that special treatment is needed to keep their wild nature under control, or they will gladly use their host of stronger attacks, including a devastating thrash attack, to make short work of any Pokemon that are placed against them in battle without caring much for the opponent's well-being. 
it is lastly noted that Cantonia Meowth is one of only a select number of Pokemon capable of possessing the Gigantamax factor, and in turn can take on a unique Gigantamax form when Dynamaxed. In this form, these creatures gain the full power of Dynamax possible with them as a strange symbol appears in their forehead coin charm. It is thought that the appearance of the symbol may in fact be the key to unlocking and understanding how Dynamax power truly works, but it is still uncertain what the true meaning of the symbol is. While this might only be a temporary state for them, the immense power that flows through them while in this state allows Meowth to utilize a unique G-Max move known as G-Max Gold Rush, which takes the standard Max Strike Attack and infuses it with dimensional energy to summon forth a geyser of money in the attack, allowing these monsters as a whole to use their Dynamax power to the fullest to confuse their opposition and earn a lot of money for their trainers in turn. Despite what the popularity suggests, Persian are exceptionally fickle creatures and will not think twice about lashing out against others if they don't get their way or dare to look at them in the eyes, which is duly reflected in their ability to utilize a switcheroo technique, a move inaccessible to Meowth. It doesn't take much to trigger these beasts' temper, but it's usually easy to know when they will attack, as it will always raise their tail straight up as a warning sign. Even then, however, an individual would have to be extremely fast to avoid the claws of these quick-footed felines. It certainly doesn't help humans that Persian are quite lithe like Meowth and are usually able to move quickly without ever making a sound, allowing them to effectively sneak up and pounce on prey and humans alike without any difficulty. This volatile temper, however, in combination with the relatively high opinion they hold for themselves, is what makes Persian particularly popular among gang-affiliated leaders, as these cats will gladly defend their owners with their lives if they feel that they are worth saving, even if it takes a while to train them. Considering the fact that their claws are sharp enough to slice through any cloth-like material outside of Kevlar, this can make them extremely useful bodyguards that don't cost nearly as much money as professional human guards would. Unfortunately, there is one drawback that wise trainers can take advantage of if they need to pacify an attacking Persian quickly and quietly. Their Whiskers Persian use their whiskers as powerful sensory devices, detecting the slightest change of wind direction within their immediate vicinity in order to flush out any prey that may be hiding. These hairs are laced with large clumps of nerve cells that are exceptionally sensitive to shock. If any of these whiskers are damaged or grabbed, it will trigger a massive neural overload that will temporarily shut down their adrenal glands. In short, this will calm and render a Persian completely docile for at least a minute or two, allowing humans and opponent Pokemon alike to take advantage of them in any way they see fit. As far as their combat abilities go, these creatures share most of their abilities with Meowth, though their agile forms allow them to have Limber in place of Pickup as a base ability, and their stats underperform in nearly all areas, with only their base speed stat being above average for a fully evolved normal type Pokemon. Even so, this speed can help them to get the drop on opponents, so they are not completely without notable combat use. Much as with their pre-evolution, Persian are one of the few species of Pokemon known to have a unique variant within the confines of the Alola region. In this region, these creatures are dark types, can have their fur coat ability as a primary ability instead of technician, and the routed ability as a hidden ability instead of a nerve, gain access to the night slash attack in place of the slash attack, as well as the quash technique, and possess a slightly decreased base attack stat and a slightly increased base special attack stat. Much like their normal variant, these creatures hold a very high opinion of themselves, more so than normal in truth, and are highly intelligent when it comes to getting what they want. This also leaves them unable to really care to become attached to their trainers, so they are very difficult to use as actual partners in battle. The round face of Alolan Persian, though goofy looking to some, is seen in the Alolan region as a symbol of the wealthy and is admired as an image of great beauty. The bigger and plumper the face, the more beautiful they are seen to be. Their blue gem and fur especially are valued highly among the rich and collectors alike, as their coat is softer than velvet and shines with a high quality glow that enchants all those that gaze upon it. Unfortunately for tourists, these creatures are all well protected because of their distinct appearance and strict inspections are required in order to allow someone to actually take one back to the home region. In truth, their demeanor makes this less than worthwhile to most in the end. While these creatures often put on a refined act, once a battle begins, they will rely on the most underhanded of tactics including sucker punches, blindside attacks, surprise attacks, trickery, and even foul play in order to win even going so far as to torture weakened prey and opponents alike instead of putting them out of their misery. The only upside to this is that their haughty personality often leads them to underestimate their opponents, leaving them open to counterattacks, overall making them difficult to use and use effectively in battle without a great deal of time and experience on one side. 
This is sadly also reflected in their stats, as with their Cantonian counterpart, these creatures fall short in almost all areas, with their base speed stat being the only one that is above average for a fully evolved dark type Pokemon, though they can still at the very least be quick with their movements, and use that to strike opponents before they can oftentimes react. While Meowth always evolve into some variation of Persian in both the Alola region and most of the world in general, in the Gala region these creatures have taken a different genetic pathway altogether, and because of the radical change in their standard form, they experience a substantial change in their evolution, evolving instead into the deadly Berserker. While these small cats look like they are wearing helmets, the top of their head is actually a steel-hard, hardened amount of hair that not only allows them to learn the iron head attack immediately after evolving, but also the metal burst and iron defense moves with a bit of artificial help, and as a whole, helps to heavily armor them against direct physical assault. In addition to having this extra defense at their disposal, these creatures experience a dramatic increase to their attack stat as they evolve, and this is mainly due to the fact that, in evolution, their claws become both retractable and extremely large for their body size. These beasts are able to use these titanic claws to leave deep, piercing gouge marks that can penetrate almost any type of hide, as when held together, they form a sharp dagger that only metallic armor can readily deflect. As a result of this, Berserker are beasts that cannot be ignored, as while they might be lacking in many ways, these beasts more than make up for this in sheer viciousness and ferocity. Much as the name might suggest, Berserker wildly charge headlong into battle without much forethought, caring only for the love of the thrill of battle and going to town on anything that dares to so much as look at them the wrong way. This wild demeanor makes these cats surprisingly dangerous as a result, as their actions can rarely be predicted and their attacks can be quite brutal, but on that same token it makes them hard to control and train in many cases. As such, these creatures tend to best battle on their own when there are few distractions in their presence. Because of their allies are present, it is possible that they might end up in the line of fire, and these felines care very little about who is friend or foe once they get really riled up. This is a shame as well, because while their battle armor and tough claws base abilities are good for their combat style, their signature hidden ability, Steely Spirit, has a dramatically positive effect in boosting the power of steel type attacks used by allies by 50%, so if one gets lucky enough to use a specimen with that ability, great caution must be paid to avoid having these mindless brawlers take out their own teammates in battle lust. Regarding their combat abilities, however, these cats fall short in every category, as all of their base stats are below average for a fully evolved Steel-type Pokémon. This means that it will have to be their erratic and barbaric behavior that pulls them towards potential victory, as the decent physical attributes on their own are not enough to make them worthwhile Steel-type Pokémon to work with. While they might come in a great variety of forms with differing powers and abilities, the members of the Meow family are at least all alike in that they can be both great pets and decent combatants with enough work, at least in friendly competitions. They are often fickle and brutish, which makes them a handful to deal with, but if you can appease to their needs and desires, they can definitely be enjoyable to work with. Just do yourself a favor and try to make sure that you establish an equal level of treatment in your relationship with them. Otherwise, these cats will gladly walk all over you, and if that doesn't work, scratch you up to heck and back until they get what they want. Thank you all for watching this video. It is always an honor to be able to speak with you all on the subject of Pokemon in a way that brings me great joy and happiness in my work. If you would like to keep tabs on past and future work, click that subscribe button, check out my work on DeviantArt, and don't be shy about following me on Twitter where you can find pertinent announcements on upcoming work before it is officially posted. Links to both can be found in the video description. If you would like to support my work and help Miguel and I continue to produce more content for you and improve upon our presentation, please visit us at my Patreon page, which you can also find a link to in the video description. Yeah, no. With that, I thank you for watching and I wish you well.